Hello to a C. I'm going to read you another story. This one is called There's a Walrus in My Bed and it's by Ciara Flood. Ciara Flood, There's a Walrus in My Bed. Flynn was very excited about sleeping in his new bed. But there was one rather large problem. Mum, Dad, there's a walrus in my bed, said Flynn. You must have been dreaming, said Dad. But there really, really is. You know it's naughty to tell fibs, said Mum. Flynn sighed and went back to his bedroom. was trying to squeeze into the bed when he heard a very loud noise coming from Walrus's tummy. Rumble! Are you hungry? he asked Walrus. Humph! said Walrus. Flynn wasn't sure what Walruses liked to eat. He hoped it wasn't little children. Too late for snacks, said Mum. But they're not for me, they're for Walrus, Flynn told her. Walrus ate all the snacks. He didn't seem hungry anymore, but he wasn't sleepy either. Do you have a cold? Oh, whoops. A chook, sneezed Walrus. Do you have a cold? Flynn asked. Hrumph, sniffed Walrus. Flynn got some extra blankets. Walrus started to get hot and cranky. Oh dear, said Flynn. You must be really sick. Harumph, wheezed Walrus. Walrus isn't feeling well. He needs a glass of milk, said Flynn. Perhaps Walrus shouldn't have eaten all those snacks, Dad muttered. After drinking the milk, Walrus had to use the bathroom. I know you're a little nervous about your new bed, said Mum, but it's way past your bedtime. It's not me who won't go to sleep, grumbled Flynn. It's Walrus. OK, Walrus. That's enough messing around, said Flynn. I'm going to sing you to sleep. Harumph, said Walrus, who still looked wide awake. Is the room too dark? Harumph. Or too bright? Harumph. Are you scared of monsters? Harumph. Or do you have an itch you can't reach? Flynn had a long, hard think. Maybe what you really need is... A cuddle! Walrus closed his eyes, gave a great big yawn, and finally fell asleep. Flynn snuggled down beside him. But there was still one rather large problem. The bed just wasn't big enough for both of them. Flynn tiptoed into Mum and Dad's bedroom. Mum, Dad, he whispered, Can Laura sleep in your bed tonight? If we say yes, will you promise to go to sleep? asked Mum. Flynn nodded. Yes, they both shouted. Flynn stretched out in his soft, warm bed. Good night, Walrus, he said. Harumph, said Walrus. And at last everyone could go to sleep. Well, almost everyone. Doesn't look like Mum and Dad are going to get much sleep. And that is the end of There's a Walrus in My Bed.